welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure o-m-g <laughs> look they have literally dug themselves because they did this to themselves nobody nobody did anything to them they did this to themselves they put this on themselves Okay, they literally have dug themselves into a hole. Okay, they fell into a hole trying to compete with you. They were trying to compete with you. They were trying to keep up with you. They couldn't hang. They are hurt. They are but hurt. Literally, figuratively, however you say it, like, they are but hurt. They have hurt themselves. They have fell into a ditch and they have hurt themselves. They're trying to keep up with you and it didn't work. It didn't work. It ended up hurting more in the long run. It ended up hurting more than it helped. Like they end up making themselves look stupid. <laughs> like they end up they end up just like it's like you can tell they are in competition with you. You can tell they're trying to one up you. You can tell it's easy, it's obvious. Everybody sees it. It's not hard to see. Like, you did this, so they went and did that. You got that, so they went and got that. But it's like, no. What they got and what you got is totally different. It's totally different. For one, they didn't even do it like you. They didn't do it like you. First off, they can't compete because they don't compare. <laughs> you can't compete where you don't compare. So they were trying to be like you. They were trying to do it like you. They were trying to go and buy what you have. They ain't even do it like you. Yours is still better. <laughs> like, if you're going to compete, like, at least outdo it. But be genuine behind it, though. Be genuine. Like, that's the thing. They're out here trying to compete. And it's not even what they really want. It's not even who they truly are. It's given forced. I'm not going to lie. It's giving forced. It's giving uncomfortable. It's giving out of their element. It's giving they're doing too much to try to keep up with you. It's like, where did this come from? Who are you? Do you know who you are? Because it's like, clearly not. Because you're trying to be like the next person. When you're, you, you're just like, you're just being you. You're just doing what makes you feel happy. What makes you feel comfortable and content. What makes you um feel good this is the reason why you're doing the things but the reason why they're doing it is disingenuous they're doing it to try to compete with you and it's clear as day it's so obvious it's so obvious and it's so stupid <laughs> it's really annoying it's like sheesh you're just thinking like can i like can i have my life back can i like is there anything that I can do, anything that I can have without you copying? Like, these people have this copycat mentality when it comes to you. And don't look at it all as a bad thing. Like, oh, they just want to try to one-up me. Because, no, really, they just, they envy you. They envy you. And the reason why I say envy is because they pretend like they don't like you. But really, deep down inside, they admire you. These people are sitting and they are taking notes. They are watching your every single move. They're not, oh, absolutely not. You, they're not going to say anything, but you know it. You know it. They don't have to say anything. You see the ways in which they're moving. You hear the ways in which they're talking. Like, they are watching you. Every time you post, they're watching you. Every time you go there, they're watching you. They don't have to say anything. It's all in their actions. It's all in their movement. It's all in the way in which they converse with other people. They want to be like you. They admire you. They really like you deep down inside. They really like who you are at the core. And they want to be like that too. They want to be seen like you too. They want to touch people in the ways in which you touch people. They want their light to shine as bright as yours. They want to look as good as you look. Okay? You got that juice, okay? <laughs> you got that fire and desire, baby. <laughs> like, they want that. So they're taking notes. 
and they're seeing how you're doing it. They're seeing how you're doing it, but then they realize that when they do it, they're not getting the same results, not even close. So it's really hurting them on the inside. It's really hurting them because they can't figure out how it is that you're doing what it is that you're doing. But you, you're doing it effortlessly. Like you don't have to think too much into it. You don't have to do that much planning. It comes naturally for you. But when they do it, when they're competing with you, oh, they put their heart and their soul in, into the thought process. Like you, you just do it because you're very genuine. It's coming from a place of love. It's coming from a place of um, your heart space. It's like it's coming straight from your soul. This is why you ain't got to do too much planning. It's just like whatever you feeling, whatever is on the inside is what comes out. For them, they have other stuff on the inside. They don't have their own thought process. They don't have their own goals and dreams. So they want yours. They want what you got. But it ain't working. So they're hurt. They can't figure it out. They could have sworn that they took very good notes. They could have sworn that they took very good notes. Step by step on how to be like you. They could have sworn they did. But then when they went and they put it out there, when they went and they did that, when they went and they bought that, they realized they can't compete. They realized there is no competition. They realize that they don't compare. They realize that they can't be like you. It's impossible. It's impossible. But what they don't realize is you were made uniquely you. Like you were made to be you. You were made so divine. You were made so sacredly. Like that's just for you. This is your journey. It's not their journey. So they can't copy your journey. They can't. Because this is what's destined for you. This is what was already written for you. This is what was planned out before you even reincarnating on, onto this earth. It wasn't written out for them. This ain't the way they story's supposed to go. So your blueprint is not their blueprint. And it would never be. They are so hurt. They are so hurt. They aren't getting the attention that you're getting. They aren't getting the results that you're getting. When they went and tried to buy that too, they realized, whoa, oh, that's what they did to get that? Well, never mind. I'm not going to do exactly that, but I'm going to, I'm going to get close. I'm going to, I'm going to do what I can. But it's like, no, don't even, don't even try to compete if you can't compare. Don't even try to compete. Like, <laughs> Don't even do it. Don't do it to yourself. And this is what they have been doing. They have been breaking their own heart. They've been breaking their own heart time and time again, trying to keep up with you. Trying to outshine you. They have been trying to outshine you knowing, I mean, not knowing that ain't nobody, it ain't nobody that can dim your light. Like, only person who can dim your light is yourself. And you don't even do that anymore. So they're out here trying to put out your fire when you been lit. <laughs> you been lit. This ain't nothing new. It's like you've been put in the work. They trying to put out your fire. They trying to put out your flame. You been, you been lit. You been it. <laughs> like, you been putting that work in. You ain't new to this. You true to this. And they're quite new to this. So they're trying to figure out how their fire keeps, boop, <laughs> their fire keeps getting smacked out and they're doing it to themselves. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, but it's the truth, y'all. Y'all see it. Y'all, if you feel me, let me know how so in the comment section below. But y'all see it. Like, you are a living testimony of it. You're a witness of it. Like, they're trying to keep up with you. 
it don't even matter. It don't even matter if in this 3D world they got more money than you, they got a better house than you, they still want what you got. They still want what you got. If they got it all. You got some people out here in competition with you. I ain't gonna go there. <laughs> I am not gonna go there, but maybe let me tell you if the shoe fit, wear it. <laughs> because like I said, they're always watching you. They're always watching you. And they're offended. <laughs> they're offended, you offend them. Like they are so offended of you when it comes to you. They are jealous of you. They are very jealous of you. They want it. They want it so bad. Oh, they want it so bad. They can't have it. <laughs> they can't have it. On the outside, it may appear that they got it all. On the outside, it may appear that they got it. But they ain't got it. Because if they had it, then they wouldn't want what you got so bad. If they had it, then they'll be focusing on their own plate. They'll be focusing on their own goals, their own opportunities. And not what you got. And not what you can do. And not how you affect the world. They wouldn't be focused on that. But they are. They want it so bad. They see you with it. If they could, they'll just take it. They'll take it right from under your feet. They'll take it right off your plate. They will. They would do that. But they can't do that. Because you got this shield around you. This divine shield. Like the universe is wholeheartedly protecting you against people like them. This is why things played out the way in which they played out. This is why you guys are not close anymore. This is why you don't call them anymore. This is why y'all don't stay in touch. Because those feelings were always hidden above, up under the surface. But it took, whatever it took to bring that stuff to the forefront so you could see how they really feel about you. It took that thing to bring it out. And even after that, you see, I mean, not even, even after that, but after that, you start to see how deep down inside, oh, they were in competition. Oh, they really wanted to be like me. You didn't know, but now you know, like you didn't know. You didn't know. And it may have took some time, but eventually it was gonna come out. Eventually it was gonna come out. Like one of your superpowers is seen through people. You can see through people. You see through the bull. You see through their hidden agendas. It may not be right away. Nine times out of 10, it's not gonna be right away because these people are very good. They're very good at what they do. They're very good at hiding who they are. But when that thing happened, oh, you was able to see. You was able to see them for who they truly are. And that's someone who really just want to be like you. But they're so hurt right now. They've been hurt. It's like they keep falling. They keep breaking legs, breaking ankles, backs. Like, because they're trying to keep up with you. They're running behind you, literally. They didn't see that two-step you did to right. And they kept it straight and they fell into a ditch. They did it to themselves. Why are they following you? Why won't they just be themselves? Is it really genuine? So anywho, if this video resonate in any way, if y'all feel what I'm saying, let me know how so in the comment section below. Sign up to be a member on my membership tab. If you're new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. Stay spiritually you, stay spiritually in tune, and I'll see you on the next one.